Welcome back to Let's Play Alan Wake 2. I'm Burning Dog Face, and we're going through the vortex for some reason. Saga! What's going on? Her room, yes, yes. Am I in the field office? No. It's the mine place. I can't sense anyone. I used profiling when she said that. Television. Nothing's working. I can't think straight. All the videos are gone. Ah, oh, they took the mayor setter thing! And they took my upgrade books. I can't even interact with the radio. Manuscript pages. Hey, I can run in here. That's a new one. Where is everything? Case board. There's nothing. My work. It's all gone. What the hell is happening? The drawer is totally empty. All the, the files are gone. I mean, the maps of Bright Falls and the surrounding area are still there. Which one's that little one? Okay, that one's the wellness center. That one's the uh, Valhalla nursing home. Oh, I think that's the bunker. Yes, yes. Just walk out. I can't leave. Why can't I leave? The mind place. Well, I've got a case. I guess I'll just put that on the fucking wall. The dark presence took over Casey, stole the clicker from me. The last thing I remember is him throwing me into Cauldron Lake. Accurate. I'm in the dark place. I'm lost. I don't know how to get out. I don't know what to do. That wasn't me. Was it? That was a live-action saga standing where the figures normally... Okay! What? Failed you, who? You failed them. Other saga, uh... What's happening to the case board? Why is it changing? How do I leave? You failed them. Find evidence that I failed them. Uh... Uh... Scratch to me to fall to I remember sinking. That doesn't explain I'm in the mind place. I got jump-scared a second ago just looking at the wall. Uh, the Dark Presence took KC. KT is scratched now, and he has the clicker. What just happened? This is the dark place. I'm in danger. I have to get out of here. My mind feels foggy. Why am I in the mind place? And why can't I leave? Something is very wrong here. I'm in the dark place. I'm lost. I don't know how to get out. I don't know what to do. She's right. Cauldron Lake is in the is the dark uh, gateway to the dark place. I'm in the dark place. Oh, good. There's a dot on profiling now. Oh, it's going to be me, isn't it? Well, Saga, you know, the, not the player. That would be crazy. Uh, other Saga, even... Oh, no. It's an other Saga, the way that we fi faced an other Alan. It's the piece of Saga that's now convinced she can never escape? She just looks like an inverted photograph. Failed them, quote, in quotes. The board says I failed them. Who's them? I let everyone down. Jeez. Logan, Casey, myself. This is my fault. She's in black and white. My daughter is dead. My partner was taken over by a monster. I'm trapped in a dark place. Powerless. I'm not powerless. What is happening here? This isn't me. She ca it's trying to take her, but she's resisting. Something's very fucking wrong here. Uh, you failed them yourself. Okay! I'm a failure. This is what I deserve. The, uh, label on this one just says, YOU FUCKED EVERYTHING UP! In all caps. 
you were a terrible detective. There's four pieces of evidence associated with that one. You've lost your mind. Four more pieces of evidence. Okay, okay, more profiling. Uh, Logan. Logan. I neglected my family for my job. No! I was too thrilled by the cases. The mysteries. I liked how dangerous the work was. And now that danger has destroyed my family. He keeps jump scaring me with Saga's face. It killed my daughter. No. Picture of Logan for the board. Casey. Casey. Casey depended on me. And I let him down. I wasn't watching his back. I got wrapped up chasing the wrong lead. He needed me. Now he's turned into a monster. He needed me. Don't listen to her. That is not you. That is what the Dark Place wants to make you. That's what you'll be like if you're taken. Uh, your partner, your daughter. Let me guess, these are the other ones for you failed them. Okay. I'm a terrible mother. I don't know why I didn't really expect I that. I let my daughter die. She's dead because of you. And the new questions are, Logan died because of you, or you were a terrible mom. Jesus Christ. Your partner. Okay, brace. Scratch took Casey, and it's my fucking fault. Casey is a monster now. You were a terrible partner. It's your fault he got hurt. I feel terrible just reading these things. You fucked everything up. Oh good, now there's profiling for Casey. But there's one more for other saga. Wait, I don't have any things for Casey. Okay! He's using Casey now. Like he used Wake. Oh, that is a fucked up picture of Casey. So that was just bait. So that I would do that. Oh, no. Oh! It's Casey and Alan grinning in exactly the same way with their photos overlaid with each other. Like it's the Mr. Scratch face from all the jump scares. And except his eyes are just black pits. I couldn't protect Casey from Scratch. You lost your partner. You were a terrible partner, and it's your fault he got hurt. No, it wasn't you were a terrible partner. It's, it's your fault he got hurt, apparently. Why is this happening? Casey is gone, and it's your fucking fault. You let me die. An episode of Night Springs is on the TV. Let's activate the jump. There was a couch there, wasn't there? Isn't that the shadow of the couch right there? I don't like that. I, I think that's just a... Oh. Oh, good, yes. Let's interact with the deer head. I'm sure this won't cause a jump scare. This case... This room... Is any of it even real? I couldn't read what that caption said. Casey was hurt. Coffee cups. And bandages. I should have been watching his back. These were not here a moment ago, I think. Okay, Night Springs. Night Springs. Logan and David love that show. Their weekly ritual. Oh, okay. It was just a static image of the logo, and then it turned back into the static it was on before. Or when I say static image, I mean it was just the logo without anything changing. The dots in the background weren't even moving. And then it changed back to the featureless static. I never should have trusted these. The manuscript pages. Okay, we've got, I used manuscript pages as a crutch instead of doing my job. We've got, I took Logan away from her father with a picture of the, uh, the trailer. That was in the story. That was not your fault. Casey was injured because I left him behind, and this has all been a hallucination. But there's one more thing of profiling I want to look at. Because there's one for other saga that just says... There's no way out! That just popped up when I was walking over there. The other saga's last one says, The Horror Story. The 
the story. My life, my family is just part of a book. Another white asshole deciding what I get to do, how I get to do it. Oh boy. He took my daughter from me. I'll never be free of this story from him. He used her. Oh, there's no more new ones, thankfully. Oh. Away from Dad. It's a... I think it's an FBC document. It's where the upgrades should be. Yeah, Federal Bureau of Control. What is this? Casey was being corrupted, and I did nothing. Injury report. Subject Alex Casey, FBI. Description of injury, uh, 2218. Okay, uh, wait, that's like 10 at night, isn't it? Uh, subject seems physically weakened with some confusion about its whereabouts and events. Concussion? Similar symptoms to those becoming shaded individuals. Exposure to the shadow is suspected, but not confirmed. And then in all caps, You knew he was hurt. You knew the Dark Presence did something to him. You didn't care. You only pretended to care when it was convenient, and the second he became a liability, you let Scratch have him! That is not at all what it says on the actual paper when I zoom in. That's really terrifying. It's like, her, it's genuinely just her mind, not this paper. The fucking run-on sentence at all caps and... Okay. Scratch was wake. How could I miss that? And everyone was constantly saying it. I felt the same way. Everyone was constantly accusing Scratch and Alan of being the same person, but they knew, the writers knew, that I would feel defensive of the character because I really like this series. Transcript of the interview with subject, Alan Wake, suspected peri-utilitarian, location Bright Falls, Washington, interviewer Kieran Estevez, lead agent. K.E. Mr. Wake, you have been taken into FBC custody and will receive an in-depth interrogation at a later date, but for now I need to ask if there is anything you can tell us regarding the incident at the hotel. Anything we may need to know. A.W. There is a force. There is a force here you don't understand. A presence. It's after me. It wants to consume me. Consume everything. K.E. Yes, you mentioned this dark presence before. There were so many hints. How did you miss this? Wake was scratch. It was right under your nose. Wake was scratch. Scratch was wake. Scratch, whack. Scratch, wake. Scratch, wake. Scratch, wake. You took me away from Dad. It sounded terrible. Okay. No, oh, my controller disconnected. There's no way out! I don't think it liked that jump scare. Maybe it vibrated in just the right way. I think that can happen. Okay. Wake was scratch all along, and I had no idea. I ignored the fact that the dark presence is affecting Casey. Logan is dead. Uh, he had these ones before. Okay. I used manuscript pages as a crutch instead of doing my job. You are a terrible detective. This isn't... What? The pages were your excuse for always being one step behind. Uh, Logan died because of you. You were a terrible mom. I took Logan away from her father. You were a terrible mom. Wait, what? You took her from David and stuck her in a backwater shithole. Casey was injured because I left him behind. It's your fault he got hurt. He needed backup and you weren't there. I ignored the fact that the Dark Presence was affecting Casey. You were a terrible partner. It feels like I'm trapped in a nightmare. Stuck in an echo chamber with all my fears, my doubts, my insecurities. You have to remain lucid. You should never have brought him to Cauldron Lake right to scratch. Logan is dead. Logan died because of you. She's not dead. God damn it. You're the only one who won't accept she's dead. I still have Logan is dead. I don't know if that's a bug or they just want me to have that one in my inventory, you know. Wake was scratch all along and I had no idea. Uh Where was it? I thought there was a you were a, you were a terrible detective right over here where I had the thing. Come on. Oh boy. This is just the word idiot repeated 15 times. Jesus. Yeah, come on, man. Uh, let's see, Logan is dead. I'm gonna guess it also goes and Logan died because of you. What makes more sense, everyone is wrong or you are? 
Another Logan is dead. How many of these are there? A bunch of them. Oh, good. Uh, this has all been a hallucination. Uh, you've lost your mind. What's happening to me? Shadow monsters, false realities, magical writers. Really? Logan is dead. Logan died because of you. If you hadn't been at work, she'd still be alive. Let's go for another one of those, because they keep giving them to me. And they're all the same photo. No, they're not. The background's getting darker. She died alone and scared, begging you for help, and you weren't there. This one's almost completely engulfed in darkness. As the water filled her lungs, she realized you weren't coming. I can only see her eyes on this one. Can you even still call yourself a mother after you let your only child die? Jesus Christ. Ugh. I regret saying that. I can barely see her at all in this one. Please tell me this is the last- No, there's two more! No! I'm done with this. It just keeps coming back. You're blaming a horror story instead of yourself. You coward admit she's dead and you killed her, you killed her, you killed her. There's a kid's bed with a bunch of oh, drawings. Nope, nope, nope. Okay, let's look at the cute bed with all the drawings. I spent too much time away from Logan. There's a stool over here that wasn't here before. It's a walkie-talkie on top of the stool. I've had it with you, cultist maniac. I never should have left Casey at the hotel by himself. A whole bunch of copies of that newspaper talking about uh, Logan's death. Logan. The horror story used her. There's a deer mask on the wall here. The cult was just the beginning of the spiral. Oh, there's Cult of the Tree logos everywhere in this room all of a sudden. When did that happen? It was so obvious the Coscula brothers were behind the cult. Okay, yes, okay, yeah, yeah, that's fair. That's on both of us. We found all that evidence and we didn't do anything about it. We just kept going forward with the story. We would have known early if we'd been- There's no way out! I didn't even do anything. Funny thing is, it doesn't look any different outside. I can still see, like, a distant light from a street lamp. Ilmo and Yako were running a cult right under my nose. Casey was wrong to put his trust in me. Logan's death broke something inside of me. I abandoned my partner to investigate on my own. Logan was alone. Uh, you were a terrible detective, so Ilmo and Yako were running a cult under your nose. Where was that? There. That's not... No. What kind of detective are you? They were right in front of you. Uh, you were a terrible partner. Casey was wrong to put his trust in me. You fucked this case up so badly that the FBC took over. Logan's death broke something inside of me. You were a terrible mom. No. Uh, you've lost your mind. I hate this, but it's all true. I had tried to silence these thoughts. Focus on the case. But I can't escape them anymore. I'm drowning. I need a way out before I'm dragged under. You couldn't face what happened, so you cracked. I just got a new profiling thing called A Way Out. I abandoned my partner to investigate on my own. I was a, a terrible partner. Where was that? God damn it! You were so eager to be in charge that you left him behind. Oh, that's right, he made her lead investigator. It was her first time. Logan was alone. Uh, you were a terrible mom. Fuck, no! She spent every day by herself in that trailer.
That really, really got me. I turned around and there was a fucking Taken standing there for like one second. And then all the lights turned off and then on again and he was gone. <laughs> I just... Okay! On that note... Actually, what happens if I just hit back? I was expecting a jump scare, but no. Uh... Yeah, okay, fuck that. The timer has gone, though, so, uh... I guess I'm going to call it... Oh god! I'm Burning Dogface, and I'll see you on the next episode of Let's Play Alan Wake 2 and Saga Anderson's Personal Hell continues. Don't do this to yourselves. Don't let your friends do this to themselves. And stay in the light so this doesn't happen to you.